so it's the first round of the Stock Cats Championship and it's Tom Bell that's on pole position, he finished second in the championship last year alongside Tim, it's the only running clear on the grid, the um, clear running two series new for this season, that's Matt Fincham alongside her, but he can't score points. Second row we have Rob Drake and Shane Deegan, row three is Paul Jarvis and Andrew Tibbs. The fourth row in his first ever circuit race, that's Lee Deegan, he's come from Autograss Racing. Alongside him is Jake Farnden. Row five we see Pip Hammond and Patrick Fletcher. Row six, Philip Wright and Andrew Harding. See your first 12 cars on the grid you see there. And then Next up, row 7, we have Stephen Powelson and Nathan Saunders, another newcomer. Row 8, Mark Armstrong and Matt Ellis. Row 9, Nick Fortin-Jones and Harry Campy, another person who's only in his... The, um, two people are in their third ever car meet and they're both in the second row who I mentioned earlier Rob Drake and Shane Deegan watch out for them the back of the grid is James Hayden Terry H Roughton had problems in qualifying he's a race winner in stock catch in the past 20 cars to make the start here at Mullery Park then the lights are on the about to go out and away they go and it's Vincent versus Bell off the front row of course oh, Tom Bell the lone stock catch from competitor there on that front row so here be the leader in that and it's Lee Deegan there with a massive sideways rope and he goes and then Andrew Harding has a moment as well now Paul Jarvis I should think will go second in the stock catch yes he does Lee Deegan run out really wide there from that big sideways moment he had let's take a replay here before Pip Hammond and they see Andrew Harding come across the front of him and Fraser Hammond Pip Hammond there managed to slow the car down and not hit into him but it's Fincham that leads Bell in second but then the second played battle with the stock catches there it's Shane Deegan I think trying to come up alongside Pil uh, um, Jarvis as they head now up across the line but Jarvis held him off then so it's Jarvis there in sack second of the stock catch his third overall we watch that battle as they come down to Gerrard it's Jarvis ahead of the two Deegans it's Lee Deegan ahead of Shane and then behind them it was it was a great start from Lee Deegan actually because he was seventh on the grid fantastic stuff from him um, behind them it was Rob Drake the David Sword is going around the outside let's go on board with Pip Hammond and he's just behind Patrick Fletcher as we head down towards the Essex for the second time of the 13 minutes plus one lap race as always in stock catch and then 50 podium and look at that and the battle a second all heading through the Essex together uh, so the first round of the Stock Cats Championship here at Monterey Park. It's Tom Bell that leads Paul Jarvis still in second. The two Deegans come together. There's a bit of contact between the two of them. There was Shane running into Lee. But hopefully got that the right way round. Two cars almost identical. The Lee and Shane Deegans, the um, two brothers from Cambridge who come from Autograss Racing. That's allowed Rob Drake to get past both of them. So Drake's a second in this queue of cars now. So it's Jarvis, Drake, Deegan, Deegan, Tibbs and Farnden side by side. Andrew Tibbs goes through there up on the inside line to go ahead of Jake Farnden. There's Stephen Powell's on the team makes his way through Gerrard's as well. He's just behind the two blue cars. One of them was Andrew Harding. The other, I think, Mark Armstrong. A forming go of Powell's. Now, with that Armstrong, we are following. Yeah, 76 car, Mark Armstrong. Well, as we head down towards the S's. The third time in this stop catch race. Behind Tom Ellis, I think that is all over the grass. It's side by side with Deegan's again. Leading on the outside, the inside for Shane. And then the rolls as uh, so they go through the elbow, the left hand on the next corner. So then here they come then. It's Drake now ahead. Dr Robert Drake's got ahead. Rob Drake ahead of Paul Jarvis now then, there's Patrick Fletcher, then the inside rear wheel there, up in the air through Gerrard's. Thousand in there still, let's go forward with Paul Jarvis for the first time in this race, and he follows Rob Drake. We head down towards the S's, this battle for second in stock, as Rob Drake flings the car into the S's, the car completely sideways. This is given now Paul Jarvis, the better runner, they head down to the hairpin, he's going round the outside here. In the front they're almost side by side as well, between Matt Fincham and Tom Bell. Tom Bell doing a great job to go with a Clio, and more so, a massive gap to the Stockcats contenders, so it's Drake stays in front of Jarvis, and I think that's that lead Egan coming around the outside of it, it's shame, we'll have to check that when they come back down towards Gerard. so it's side by side and for the lead as well, because John Bell trying to come around the outside of Matt Fincham who locks it up but he managed to hold that all together and one of the Deegans has gone ahead of Paul Jarvis and it's Shane, Lee behind, so Shane Deegan first of those three black cars, then Paul Jarvis behind him, and then the third of those, that's Lee Deegan, as Tom Ellis runs up very wide once again, one of the novice drivers, so on board with Jarvis then, we're following, I think it's Shane Deegan in front, Lee Deegan behind, as we head down towards the edge, and Paul Jarvis late on the brakes, he gets the car sideways, 
as does Jay Deegan in front of him. He managed to hold it up. And Lee Deegan comes across the front of Paul Jarvis's car. Paul Jarvis goes kicked to the grass there. A bit of a half spin for Paul Jarvis. Him dropping right back down the pack. So, Shane Deegan and Lee Deegan. They've got Andrew Tidd, Patrick Fletcher, Pip Hammond, Jake Bond, and Philip Wright going well. Staying in that group of cars as well. So, they head down towards the elbow and come up across the line there. So it's Rob Drake second in stock catch, followed by Shane Deegan and Lee Deegan next up, who's under pressure from Andrew Tipper. Then behind, we've got Jake Vanden up on the inside of Pip Hammond. And Vanden goes through ahead of Hammond then onto the thick flap of this race. Loads of action in this first third of the 13 minutes of us one lap. We're going to board them with Pip Hammond following Jake Vanden in the orange car. Onto the back straight, down the heavy straight they go. For the first time in this race. We head down towards the S's. Arden gets the car a touch sideways, not the drifting of the S's. All do grass racers though, as we see them further up the pack. So onto the brakes, into the hairpin. Up there, one of the cars being lapped currently. Who is that? James Hayden, I think he's a newcomer as well. No, so, all 20 cars still running. And Arden, a great run of Patrick Fletcher, Patrick Fletcher. Slowing down a bit for the traffic there, James Hayden being lapped, and that's allowed Barden to gain a lower position. Two places gained in two laps, a great run of laps, and it's been Barden, so that puts him up a place. He's up to seven overall, six in the stock. So, Fletcher being followed by Hammond closely, hit Hammond almost on the rear bumper of the Saxo of Patrick Fletcher. All the stock have contenders here today in the six Saxo BTRs. And of course, the Clio. 182 of Max Fincher, the only runner in that. So, play another car out for France Hats in four weeks' time. Then, more as the season goes on. Hopefully, next year, the Clio 182s will have their own series. So, through Shaw's hairpin come the leading runners then. And the uh, Armstrong's ahead of Powers and the Harding's falling a bit behind us now. Harry Campy in there. And then, Paul Jarvis just towards the back of that, recovering Paul Jarvis. So, to lap eight. Drake, Shane Deegan, Lee Deegan and Andrew Tibbs all involved in that, Patrick Fletcher followed by Pip Hammond and we've got Andrew Harding in the battle there with Harry Campy, Harry Campy the youngster who started racing towards the end of last year going well, so what is Steve Howden behind him is Andrew Harding and then Harry Campy there as well so they head down the Debbie straight, then down towards the right and left of the S's Going down towards the short left there, but it's Harry Campy on the attack. He dives to the inside of Andrew Harding. Hard to try to hold him off here. Hopefully, he won't run out too wide. No, he stays on the track. But Harry Campy still challenging him as they go down towards the short left. He looks now up on the inside. Breaks late on the inside like this. Surely, have put him ahead of Andrew Harding. Indeed, he does. A 39 car then gains a place. Cross the line onto the last lap now. Then Matt Fincham. He's uh, broke away from Tom Bell. Tom Bell, though, of course, he's on way to win in the first round of the stock catch champion. Rob Drake, and there he is in second to lap. Nick Porter Jones is in travels this weekend. Now, here's the battle for third. It's Shane Deegan leading, and Andrew Tipp, Jake Vaughan, they've been together the whole race. And Patrick Fletcher, closely followed by Pip Hammond, as they turn through Gerard for the 15th and final time. Pip Hammond slides the car out wide. He's drifting towards the edge of the circuit, holds it all together, cuts back at the exit of Gerard. It's on the corner of people in the UK, which is exit with go in. A long right hand to get the stocks from the bottom. And then we turn into the S's. The right and the left. And down towards the hairpin then for the final time. Happy Fletcher defended in line just to make sure. What about the battle for third? Well the Deegan still in front of Tibbs and Bond and it's Shane ahead of Lee. But Lee Deegan, what a race this has been from him. His first ever circuit race. But it's Matt Fincham to win with flashing his lights behind him. It's Tom Bell that wins the first round of the Stock Cats Championship. Second, now that go to Rob Drake. But he's much further behind. Best part of eight seconds there. Then Shane Deegan takes third. Fourth Lee Deegan, his first ever circuit race. Fifth Andrew Tibbs. Sixth Jake Fond. And seventh is Patrick Fletcher. Eighth Pip Hammond. He'll be quite pleased with that. In his act so that he crashed just a few weeks ago at Cadwell Park in testing. Uh, next up, and that was Phil Wright. Had a Mark Armstrong, Steve Powsland in 11. And Harry Campy in 12. We get full 
confirmed results of that in a second. Here we go then. So it was Fincham who won, but he wasn't part of the Stork Hatch race. So Tom Bell won by 7.2 seconds almost to Rob Drake. Then the Deegans is third and fourth. Shane ahead of Lee. Then Andrew Tibbs round of the top five in Stork Catch. Jake Farnden next up in the second page of the time in screen you see Phil Wright, Mark Armstrong, Steve Powers and Harry Campy that I got up to earlier then Andrew Hardy, Paul Jarvis 15th overall in the end then Matt Ellis, Nathan Saunders Terry Rowton, another person with a troublesome car this weekend, he'll be hoping to sort that out for France Hatch, Nick Fulton-Jones of course another person like that